Hello, this is John Long from Clean Bread and Cheese Creek. This is part two of our video showing the area that we're going to be cleaning up on September 21st, 2013. It is the area from Berkshire Road area to Old North Point Road. This section is the Willow Road section, which is the middle section to clean up. Uh, so I'm going to show you the trash in this area as well. This one's a little bit slick getting through here to begin with. We'll be cutting back a lot of these branches into the day before to make sure it's easier for volunteers to get through here. This section we're at right now runs right next to Merritt Park Shopping Center, which is where one of our oldest and longest supporters, Gold's Gym, is located. Gold's Gym has been helping us out since the very beginning, uh, donating water, volunteers, uh, helping us advertise and get the word out about the cleanups. And wonderful if you think about it because they've never, they, a gym generates no trash. But yes, they're very vi environmentally conscious and they are always there for us to clean up. So kudos to them. Uh, the shopping center next to us has a fence that only goes about 50% of the length of the property, which the section before the fence is extremely clean. Well, I mean, the section with the fence is extremely clean, as I'm sure you could just see by the video as we've gone past, and now that we're past the fence, I'm starting to see lots of trash, because the fence access is a good trash catch, where then their parking lot cleaning people can then get the trash. But where there's no fence, the trash can very easily blow and are washed directly into the streams. streams, as you can see, which is very unfortunate. Um, we've asked the shopping center before if they could extend the fence, but they said they didn't have the funds. Recently, the shopping center has changed hands for a new co with a new company, so we've got very high hopes that the new shopping center will extend the fence for us to help keep more of this trash out of the stream. As I said in the previous video, we run our cleanups as a family event, which means that we make sure that absolutely everybody can participate no matter what their age and ability and we welcome all absolutely all volunteers uh, so far our youngest volunteer was three and our oldest volunteer was 94 uh, very proud of we've had volunteers that have a uh, um, cognitive impairment and they have done a wonderful job as well. Uh, we can sign off on service learning hours for students as well as court appointed community service hours as well. Um, it's amazing. We've gotten several volunteers in the past who come to us as court appointed. They finish their hours, but they have such a good time helping out that they start coming back on a regular basis and become regular volunteers, which is awesome. Uh, other things I could say about our cleanup is our cleanups have had uh, been has re have resulted into two marriages so far um, that I know of. Two people who've met individual cleanup and they've found up dating and getting married. Uh, we've also had inspired four students to change their look at all these lo these fish you would never have seen these before schools and schools of fish uh, students who change their majors to environmental because of how much the cleanups meant to them and how important they found it was after they volunteered some time here We even had one student who was originally a court appointed volunteer who wound up graduating recently with honors with an environmental science degree. And before the cleanups, he told me that he wasn't sure what he wanted to do. 
the thing about when you clean up the environment is you're not just cleaning up your environment. It might be in your neighborhood or maybe it isn't. But all those streams, as the American River says, streams connect us. And it's true. Because each stream is a source, valuable source, of clean drinking water. Uh, streams are used for watering our crops. They're used for moving freight and industry. I don't think you can ever overestimate the value of a stream. I'm going to uh, see the trash can lid right there. Shut off right now because I need to walk through these weeds on the left because it's entirely too tall. The stream is too deep to make it through here with my short knee-high waders on this time. So I'm going to turn it off and we'll turn back on again on the other side. See you in a few. John Long, Clean Bread and Cheese Creek, uh, August, I'm sorry, June, July 28th, www.breadandcheesecreek.org.